how would you like to find the ease within any effort you desired to take the most difficult of tasks and be able to see that sweet spot that not only made it easier, but so much more enjoyable. I'm Barry Kibrick. It's always good to be with you, and that's what we are going to do today. Find the ease within the effort. Finding the ease within the effort was a phrase from writer Lauren Kessler in her book, Raising the Bar. In brief, the story was about Lauren deciding at a much later age in life to go back to ballet and perform in the Nutcracker Suite. After struggling so hard that she didn't think she could go on, her ballet instructor told her these words, Lauren, you must find the ease within the effort. When I read those words, it became a personal mantra that has guided me to this day and will do the same for you. But between you and I, we both know it goes against some popular means within our society. We live our lives with certain notions that we hold so deeply, it's hard to break away from them. We've been brought up to believe that if there's no pain, there's no gain. But the truth is that's just an exercise and workout myth. Sure, you do want to put some strain on your body so that you can build and develop muscle and endurance, but pain, it should never be a part of it. Pain is only your body telling you that you're injured. Strain on a muscle you're building is very different from a sharp pain in your knee or shoulder because you're trying to use more weight than you should. And of course, once the pain is too great, you can't even continue to work out. Now, this doesn't mean that you and I shouldn't work hard or put a lot of effort into everything we do. In fact, it's just the opposite. The more we can find the ease within that hard work, the more enthusiasm we have for the tasks and the more efficiently we can complete them and with better and longer lasting results. And there are classic examples that make it that way, and it makes you better at what you do. One is a great athlete in a most grueling sport who rose to the apex of his profession with minimal pain. And the ease within his effort is talked about at great lengths. It's the tennis great Roger Federer. Who cannot watch a match of his without seeing the ease within his effort? Even when he's struggling against a tough opponent, he is pure grace and described by the commentators as if he is floating on the court. And that by no means does not mean that he hasn't worked so hard to be that way. His training regiments are secret, but everyone knows how much effort he puts into them. However, he found the ease within the effort so that he has longevity and greatness, just like Fred Astaire on the dance floor. The work that has to go into being so graceful is immense, but with Fred and Roger, they knew that the only way it can be that way is by finding that perfect point where joy and enthusiasm meet. And that is where the ease within the effort is found. Let's look at our work from those in the office cubicle to those in the corner office. 
No one on their deathbed ever said, boy, I wish I worked harder. But I can tell you that you and I might have wished we worked smarter and found the ease in all the effort we put in. Because in the long run, it not only makes the work more enjoyable, but it makes it even more productive. Now, here's how we go about finding that ease. It's going with the grain of our natural built-in ability to have a flexible mind, an elasticity that stays with us throughout our life. It's our built-in ability to solve problems and overcome our own psychological barriers. The ability to look beyond the ingrained thoughts of our past and see clearly to our present state and beyond. You and I can see the ease we have just been taught not to seek it. That simple perspective of looking for the ease within the effort comes naturally to us when we are not filled with the gunk that clogs our minds. And it doesn't even matter where the clog originated. What matters is we can see through it and have since the beginning of our existence. It's in our nature. We just have to relearn it because it has been drilled out of us. But I'm telling you that the ease within the effort is right below the surface, waiting to be rediscovered. No magic potion is needed, no extra effort to find it. All you and I have to do is be easy on ourselves, and like sweet cream, it will float to the top of our being. Till next time, take it easy. Thank you for watching. It's a joy and a privilege to bring this show to you. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss an episode. And please visit our Patreon page by clicking the link below. We so appreciate your support and thank you so very much.